The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the Raw Women's Championship. Here comes the Queen. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at one of the reasons that the women's revolution has become the women's evolution. Many believe Corey Charlotte is the greatest of all time. When it comes to history, making moments, capturing championships, and excelling inside the squared circle, nobody does it quite like Charlotte Flair. Multi-time champion, history maker, record setter, legend in the making. The Irish last kicker. What a career Becky Lynch has had so far here in WWE. A young lady who has prided herself on being different. A young lady who has prided herself on thinking outside the box. And she has taken that mentality to tremendous success here in WWE. Becky Lynch should be prosecuted for improper use of the metal horns out here dressed like something out of an H.G. Wells novel. Introducing the challenger from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Introducing the champion from Dublin, Ireland, the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Don't change that dial. Dating back to their days in NXT, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair have been best friends. They were part of the Four Horsewomen and Team PCB, but the two haven't always been sisters like they want you to believe. And, ugh, I wish an immediate end to their little tea time. It's absolutely absurd. No, oh, it's cute. Look at them, locked inside that cage like a couple of rabid animals. Recalling well, your point about Becky Lynch's friendship with Charlotte Flair, Corey, Charlotte has been a major part of many important moments in Becky's career. You can't deny the bond between the two horsewomen. True, Michael, but not all. The champion into the cover! We got a cover. What a stop! Good grief! And the champ kicks out. Still seems a little early. Big flying forearm. Drop kick! Beautiful. Talk about rocking the jaw. Challenger's starting to falter. But you can bet she won't let this golden opportunity slip away now. Slow down, Cole. Your tone seems to suggest you think she's in trouble here. Trust me, it's going to take a lot more than this to keep her down. Especially given the magnitude of this match. This is bad, guys. This match has been trending in the wrong direction for her almost from the opening bell. Oh, straight forearm. Fun an uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. Slam 
with authority. We talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. Oh, the slam! Wow! That won't separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Harsh impact. What does Charlotte need to do now to remain a factor in this match? Corey, you touched on something moments ago that's so important for the combatants in a steel cage match to remember. A superstar must be able to think offensively to figure out how they're going to escape the cage. They must think defensively at the same time so they can prevent their opponent from getting out of the cage first and winning the match. Well, a superstar must become comfortable with escaping the cage by both exiting the cage door and by climbing over the top of the cage. They must also be aware of their attributes and what's best for them. Let's just say if you're a giant like The Big Show, The Undertaker, Kane, or even Braun Strowman, it's preferred to exit through the cage door. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi, the two met inside a ring surrounded by chicken wire. At first, these types of matches were referred to as fence matches. Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s to the mid-1980s, chain link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage matches. The superstar could win by pinfall submission or by exiting the cage through the cage door or climbing over the top of the cage. We should also point out, Michael, that the way to win a steel cage match can vary by match depending on what was agreed to before contracts to compete in the match were signed. Talking about history, at WrestleMania 2, WWE unveiled the redesigned steel cage with solid steel blue bars before returning to chain link mesh in the late 1990s. Charlotte has been the centerpiece of so many WWE milestones, but her match at Hell in a Cell 2016 was her biggest triumph ever. The Charlotte Flair and... Becky Lynch, set up splitter suplex. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Byron, that Hell in a Cell match was the first time women main evented the champion into the cover. She's on a roll now. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. Ooh, forearm to the oh, face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Ooh, what impact. You gotta believe this one's over. Knife got the disarmor. Charlotte is in trouble. Right to the chest. Elbow drop. Big slam. Oh, drop kick to the spine. Beautiful technique. An area where we've seen Becky Lynch excel was a SmackDown Live Survivor Series captain. She unified the Blue Brand's women to take on their raw rivals. I stay objective when it comes to brand rivalries, Cole, but the Irish last kicker made sure her team was prepared, knowing the raw women were not going to back down. When we talk about Becky Lynch being the team captain for the women's SmackDown Live team at Survivor Series, it's important to remember she won a match for that honor. So I think there should have been an asterisk next to her victory. Oh, give me a break, Corey. Becky bested four of the superstars in a fatal five-way elimination. The champion into the cover! German suplex spike. I thought that was it. She just will not give up, Cole. You're a nagi! What a drop kick right to the back. Drop. Charlotte Flair has so many high-profile victories in both WWE and NXT. Corey, how does a competitor manage to steal a win from the Queen? Well, Charlotte's just like her father in that this industry means everything. Rick and his daughter are both very emotional, and manipulating those emotions could be key to victory. Boom, what impact! Ooh, that kick could be a game-changer. What a stomp! Good grief! Corey, going back to those emotions, Charlotte isn't afraid to shed tears when she's truly moved. But I can see moments where she gets angry like Rick does, too. Yeah, cheap attacks or insults might make Charlotte so angry that she makes a mistake. But keep in mind, she's learned almost every trick in the book, and she isn't easily fooled. Oh, my goodness, crushing it! Right to the back of the neck. Constructing the knee there. We're looking at complete domination here. The stakes were high in 2016's Backlash, where one woman would be crowned the first ever SmackDown Women's Champion in a six-pack 
Elimination Challenge match. The excitement level was off the charts, Michael. The WWE Universe saw Becky Lynch, Nikki Bella, Natalya, Carmella, Alexa Bliss, and Naomi compete to be the first woman to hold the magnificent prize. DDT! Ooh! To elaborate on that backlash match, fellas, the six-pack challenge is one of the more unpredictable forms of competition in WWE. I didn't think Becky would thrive in that type of environment. It's good to see you be wrong, Corey. Becky won and cemented her name in the WWE history books as the first SmackDown Live Women's Champion. I was honored to have called that match and witnessed Becky achieve her lifelong dream. Boom! A knee right to the face! Forearms from the second rope, driving down. We talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable. There it is. Nice exploder suplex. This one's over, guys. All that's left now is for Becky Lynch to finish. Oh, man, what a leg drop. Nailed it. Corey, you touched on something moments ago that's so important for the combatants in a steel cage match to remember. A superstar must be able to think offensively to figure out how they're going to escape the cage. They must think defensively at the same time so they can prevent their opponent from getting out of the cage first and winning the match. Well, a superstar must become comfortable with escaping the cage by both exiting the cage door and by climbing over the top of the cage. They must also be aware of their attributes and what's best for them. Let's just say if you're a giant like The Big Show, The Undertaker, Kane, or even Braun Strowman, it's preferred to exit through the cage door. Becky Lynch is credited as one of the superstars who ushered in the women's revolution. No match in WWE history showed where that movement was going, like the women's triple threat match at WrestleMania 32. Becky Lynch clashed with The Boss, Sasha Banks, and Charlotte for the women's championship. Really targeting the back on that one. Oof! That's going to leave a mark. The women's triple threat match at WrestleMania in Dallas, Texas was one of the most anticipated matches on the card. Becky Lynch went on a tear in the months leading up to WrestleMania and would not be ignored as a top contender for the women's title. If you want to know just how anticipated the women's triple threat match was at WrestleMania 32, just look at the photo of the three women that went across AT&T Stadium. Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, and Charlotte changed the game that night. Ooh, what impact. Ooh. Oh, my God. Got a little something brewing here. There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in the steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. The superstar must hit here! Nice! And the champ kicks out. Oh, wow. Drop kick right on point. Oh, shoulder breaker! Back breaker! Woo-wee! Boom, what impact! Oh, nasty impact. You spoke about this earlier, Corey. It's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside a 15-foot-high steel cage. An individual must be ready to endure pure brutality and be prepared for the fight of their life. No one leaves a steel cage match without scars. Corey, you said something to... Thank you, Lynch. Set the backsploder. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. Over and over and over. How many times are we going to see it? Look at her go. Harsh impact. When Becky Lynch was growing up in Dublin, Ireland, she watched WWE on television with her older brother. Immediately, Becky became a devo... Nice. Rolling through. Oh, they got, got the arm. Got, got the disarmer. The champ needs to hurry here. That's not even remotely comfortable looking. Drop kick. Beautiful. I'd like to expand on Michael's story about Becky Lynch growing up. Becky watched WWE during the Attitude Era as well. She loved Mick Foley and Lita. They influenced her to want to enter the ring. When Becky pursued her dream of WWE superstardom, Finn Balor trained her. Bleeding hearts would say that's a sign because they both ended up in WWE. But it's just a coincidence. Move on, dummies. Enough with the name call. Oh, what a kick to the face! Oh my God! Boom! Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. They're gonna be woozy after that impact. Like, I'll give the Irish last kicker this. If time is proof, look out. Charlotte is measuring. And here comes Charlotte. Fine uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. You've got to believe this one's over. Ch 
Charlotte's in a bind. We need to figure this out fast. I'd like to add something to what you said about Becky Lynch, Corey. The Irish born superstar has incredible offensive ability. You can tell when Becky starts to take over a match. And yes, the arm drags are definitely an homage to the dragon. And Michael, when Becky Lynch starts to heat up in the ring, her opponents usually get burned by some straight fire. It's locked in. Got a tap. Got a tap. Forearms for the second rope. Driving down. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Charlotte is one of the most devastating and innovative submission moves ever in the form of the figure eight leg lock, a move that combines technique and athleticism. Oh, debilitating elbow drop. Leg drop! This might be it! Oh, my! Man, a little extra luster behind that kick. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Michael, you touched on how the figure eight. Thank you, Lynch. Nice exploder suplex. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Did you guys feel that too? I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she could take. Got, got the arm, got the, got the disarmer. Charlotte is in trouble. It's no secret that Becky Lynch is one of the toughest superstars in WWE. It takes a lot to bring the last kicker down. Corey. Becky Lynch. My got the disarmer. Looks like another victory for the champ, Michael. Wow, that one. Becky Lynch got it. Victory tonight for Becky Lynch. Hey, she was the better woman of the two tonight. It's that simple. Social media has been buzzing over this Raw match ever since it began, and now that it's over, I actually anticipated intensifying.